For the latest in strategic affairs, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click the bell icon for updates. Hello and welcome to Strat News Global. On Tuesday, India and US took another step forward to improve and in fact enhance their relationship in the field of critical and emerging technologies. When the national security advisors of the two countries met in New Delhi, when uh, Jake Sullivan, uh, the NSA of uh, US came visiting. Of course, uh, before their bilateral meeting, there was a round table with the industry and other stakeholders to determine the future roadmap uh, for this initiative, which was uh, first unveiled uh, between President Joe Biden and uh, Prime Minister Modi in uh, 2022, but uh, really took off or uh, was kicked off in January this year when uh, India's National Security Advisor Ajit Doval went to Washington with a high level delegation and came up with a joint program called ICET or ICET, Initiative on Critical and Emerging Technologies. The meeting on uh, Tuesday was the second follow-up uh, and uh, the kind of interaction they had uh, at the track 2 level organized by the Confederation of Indian Industries or CII and then a track 1.5 event where serving officials on both sides including the two NSAs, the ambassador of the United States to India and uh, some of the key members of the teams on both sides actually interacted with the industry, uh, took their opinion, took their advice, took their inputs on how to take this initiative forward. As most of you would probably know, ICET includes six or seven critical uh, fields in which uh, India and United States want to cooperate much more deeply uh, than ever before. And that includes space, defense, quantum uh, computing, advanced materials, uh, 5G and 6G in telecom and uh, semiconductors, evolving uh, biotech uh, as far as uh, these two countries are concerned is also part of the ICET uh, when the framework was first formulated in January this year. So what are the recommendations that the uh, industry came up or there were breakout sessions uh, which happened before the interaction with the NSAs and top officials in um, what was flashed uh, during their interaction. Uh, some of these things uh, I thought uh, we'll gleam through and tell you what uh, industries on both sides want from their governments. As Mr. Dowell said in his brief speech that uh, when this initiative was started in January, he was not very confident uh, about uh, how far this will go or how quickly this can be implemented. He was excited about it, he said, but he was not confident how quickly it can take off. But he mentioned uh, that uh, now he is confident not just because the governments are taking the initiative but also because the industry and academia uh, are on board for this initiative. So what are the uh, recommendations? If you go by, if you look at the, uh, the graphics that we are flashing, in the space sector for instance, uh, the recommendation was the STA1 regulation must be eased on the United States side. What is STA1? It is the strategic trade authorization which needs uh, the regulation that is there which bars or restricts export of critical technologies to other countries needs to be eased so that Indian companies can collaborate with uh, their US counterparts. That was one of the first recommendations. Then they said uh, US and India will develop a joint satellite mission to co-develop core technologies and create a whitelist for technology transfer between the two countries which is again new. More importantly, academic collaboration uh, in the space sector was uh, talked about and of course bilateral investment opportunities for uh, US companies and vice versa was discussed. In defense, signing of security supply agreement, security of supply agreement uh, and include India in the qualifying countries list under the Defense Federal Acquisition Regulation Supplement or DFARS which you will see again on the screen. Uh, was discussed and has been recommended. Facilitation of joint intellectual property development, that is one of the key uh, stumbling blocks in how defense cooperation between India and US can develop further. And uh, if this can be implemented or this can be facilitated, where joint intellectual property between entities on both sides 
uh, is developed then it will be uh, beneficial to both sides and of course uh, bilateral business uh, facilitation me mechanism to co-design and co-develop critical and emerging technologies was also recommended by the group which uh, sort of met before the main event. In advanced materials which is again not very uh, focused area so far, uh, the, the two sides have uh, recommended that uh, mechanism to fund joint uh, programs where the project teams are based in uh, India and US uh, should be developed. Additive manufacturing, access to powder manufacturing and hot iso isostatic pressing technologies particularly from medical implants perspective was also discussed. And then of course ease of doing business uh, through simplification of export control guidance or guidelines rather and uh, the manufacturing licensing agreements and joint technology development agreements have to be uh, facilitated or speeded up was the, uh, was the recommendation. And finally in the advanced material I think the opportunity areas for collaboration included energy storage, development of materials, fibers and hydrogen production and storage was also recommended. In telecom, India has made some good progress and some of the startups from Indian side actually said how they are uh, cooperating with Department of Defense in the US and how they are uh, now uh, joining hands with prime uh, suppliers or OEMs in the United States. So, uh, the reference was of course uh, made to how India and US should give preference to manufacturing in telecom, developing innovation corridor for joint research and chip innovation, uh, create an industry government forum to action. The recommendations that have been given was also talked about 5G and 6G in supply chain, cyber security, technology access. And then uh, in semiconductors, which is going to be a key area of cooperation uh, and also a strategic uh, need for both the sides. It was decided or it was recommended that centralize or decentralize rather supply chains to create an alternative ecosystem for de-risking. Right now, as all of you know, most of the fabri fabrication of the chips and the semiconductors happens in Taiwan, which has uh, nearly 70-80% market, of course, followed by Japan and South Korea. And therefore, US wants India also to be on that bandwagon. It's a long journey ahead. Uh, both have decided that there should be a talent corridor between US and India and facilitation of exchange programs between the two sides and of course deepen collaboration in tech innovation in semiconductor industry uh, was recommended. In space I have already spoken about biotech given that pandemic actually set back every country in this world during those two years. Biotech has now become an important sector, a critical sector strategically and there uh, it was decided that or it was recommended that harmonization and capacity building required in areas of disease surveillance uh, must be done immediately, benchmarking of regulatory service delivery and information of ex ex exchange, information exchange of centers of excellence in various cutting edge scientific discoveries was also discussed between uh, the two sides when they met separately in a breakout session. So all in all, uh, the way uh, both sides are looking at it. Prime Minister Modi is going to be in the US next week. Uh, it's an important visit where President Joe Biden is hosting him for a state dinner. Prime Minister is also going to address the joint session of uh, Senate and Congress there. And of course, in meet industry leaders uh, who are uh, going to be asking for uh, whatever they need to deepen the cooperation. So this uh, meeting in Delhi on Tuesday was the precursor for what is coming and what are the agreements that are going to be signed. Of course, defense deals are also on the cards, uh, but nobody spoke about that. Uh, this was more about uh, how I set the initiative on the critical and emerging technologies should be taken forward because ultimately these technologies will benefit the people on both sides and make uh, India a modern, technologically in innovative and technologically empowered nation going forward and US is willing to help India on that wherever possible was the message uh, from Jake Sullivan and uh, the US ambassador to India uh, which actually has the backing of the White House uh, in, in a full capacity of uh, whatever power White House has this has been uh, now taken forward. I wanted to flag this uh, for our viewers because uh, this is an important area of cooperation between uh, the world's uh, oldest democracy 
uh, or at least oldest parliamentary democracy and world's largest democracy that is US and India. And I thought uh, you will uh, then chew on this, uh, think about it, give us feedback and take this initiative uh, forward amongst the people. Do keep sending your feedback to us. Uh, we value those comments and of course, you know where to reach us. Uh, for the moment, that's all I have and uh, we will come back with whatever new inputs come uh, from uh, the uh, visit next week that the Prime Minister is going to undertake to the United States. For the time being, it's goodbye.